Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking all things medicinal mushrooms. I think this is such an interesting topic. Um, we're going to be talking about what medicinal mushrooms are, what their benefits are, and also, you know, which medicinal mushroom might be the best choice for you to try out for yourself. In today's video, I'm also going to be sharing my thoughts and basically my little review on a new supplement company. It was a new company to me called Vidacap, who specialise in medicinal mushrooms. And I thought it'd be perfect because I can do an educational video on medicinal mushrooms, but also give you my thoughts um, on this company as well. Um, they also have actually given me a discount code, which I'll share a little bit later in the video if anyone is interested to check this company out, but we'll talk more on that a bit later. So the first question is, what are medicinal mushrooms? And the really important thing to know is they are very different to like your cooking mushrooms, so like the culinary mushrooms that we get in supermarkets. Um, you can get like the odd medicinal mushroom in the supermarket. Like I know Waitrose in the UK does shiitake, I've seen that in there. And oyster mushrooms are also considered more of a medicinal mushroom. But in general, the ones you get in the supermarket, they don't have the same benefits and properties um, at the same level as these medicinal mushrooms we're gonna be talking about today. So it is a whole separate category. And essentially medicinal mushrooms, um, they're mushrooms which have a higher therapeutic benefit. So the next question, what do medicinal mushrooms do? I mean, it's like, where do we start? I'm gonna go through the top five medicinal mushrooms today and I'm gonna break down all their benefits in today's video. But I just wanna say across the board with all medicinal mushrooms, they're all very, very good for the immune system. They're all um, rich in something called beta-glucans, um, yeah, which are just fantastic for supporting our immunity. So that's definitely a key thing to know about medicinal mushrooms. Some other benefits you'll find crossover between the different types of mushrooms is they're anti-inflammatory, they help with like managing blood glucose levels, they're really good for modulating our stress response. Um, another really big one, I definitely learned a lot about this in college myself, was um, a lot of them are actually very anti-cancerous um, and yeah, have been used a lot therapeutically alongside treating cancers. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole today because I do not specialise in oncology, um, so I'm not going to be giving any recommendations <laughs> down that route. But yeah, I just think that's really an interesting little fact to know. They are used a lot um, alongside cancer treatments and also preventative um, cases. And there's some other things you'll see, some of them are really rich in antioxidants, um, a lot of them are antiviral as well. So again, it all, all comes back to that immune system, it's a massive focus around that. So how I'm going to structure this next part of the video is I'm going to go through like common concerns and then tell you which mushrooms uh, would be really good to kind of combat that concern. So for example, if you're trying to, you know, reduce your stress response and work on stress, I will tell you which mushrooms are good for that and then we'll talk about that mushroom as a whole and give you all the benefits. Before I do jump into this section though, I do just want to put a quick little note here. Um, before you take any medicinal mushrooms, and it's the same with supplements of any kind, um, if you are on any medications, please do check this with your GP. Um, some of these mushrooms actually do have some contraindication, contra contraindications um, with some um, particular medications, like for example, heart medications, anticoagulants, things like that. So if you are on any, please, please do double check with your doctor before you um, go out and buy these mushrooms. Okay, so let's jump in. So the first kind of topic um, is about energy. If you are maybe into your fitness, you're looking for something to really give you that drive um, and yeah, that, that real big boost. The mushroom that you would like to have a little look at is cordyceps. Now the reason cordyceps is so good for increasing energy and your vitality is because it actually increases energy at a cellular level. So cordyceps actually increases our ATP production, which is, yeah, our cellular energy. Cordyceps is actually the supplement which I've been taking recently because I've been really focused on my fitness game um, at the moment. If you follow me on my vlog channel, you guys know all about that. If you don't follow me in there, I'll leave the link down below. Um, but yeah, so I've been really Really, really enjoying this. I've been taking this definitely before a workout and yeah, I've definitely started to see the effects of this. I will add in now, um, and this goes with all mushrooms, um, you do want to give it at least two weeks before you actually judge the results. Um, so yeah, if you start taking it in the first week and you're like, this is not doing anything, give it a little longer. It needs sometimes about two weeks to really kick in and you actually start to feel its effects. Um, but yeah, I have actually noticed an improvement with this. And particularly if I have, you know, maybe haven't had time to work out in the morning, because the morning time is when I have the most energy naturally. If I haven't had time to do that and I've got to go in the evening, in the afternoon, I will take a capsule or take two capsules and um, kind of just after lunch, like between lunch and my workout. And yeah, I have actually noticed it has 
helped me a little bit with my workout performance. So I have really, really been enjoying this. Um, while I'm on this topic now, I'll quickly just say my thoughts on Vidacap. I've been super happy with the quality of this. So it is organic. And when you go onto their website, they actually have the lab um, results on the product page, which I think is a really cool little, um, you know, what's the word, feature, I guess, on their site. So you can actually see the quality of the um, product as well. And the other thing to know about cordyceps, and I learned about this actually when I was researching, I've had to write it down here because it's again, something new to me, is that apparently there's different types of cordyceps you can get. So you can get something called cordyceps, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Cynesis. Hopefully that's right. But the preferred form you actually want to get is Cordyceps Militaris, and that is what Vidacap use. Now, the reason you want to get this form, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, it is actually richer in the compound inside Cordyceps called Cordycepin. And this has amazing properties, like it's anti-inflammatory, it's an immunomodulator, so really, really good for helping to modulate that immune response and keep that kind of balance in the immune system. And it also has antiviral properties. So yeah, going for the Cordyceps Militaris, um, strain, I don't know how what you would call it, um, but you know, <laughs> version of the cordyceps, um, actually is going to have far more of those benefits in. And then the second thing just to know, and this is particularly for anyone watching who is vegan, um, so it's kind of a bit gross, but when you actually learn about where cordyceps come from, it's actually very parasitic. So basically, like the parasite engulfs the insect and it is actually from the insect's head that the fungus grows and that's kind of where cordyceps comes from. It's, it's very gross when you look into it. However, cordyceps militaris, which is what Vidacap use, um, it is a completely different process. It's nothing to do with insects and parasites, etc. So it is completely vegan. Um, and yeah, that's just a really important thing to know when you are getting cordyceps, um, particularly if you are, you know, vegan and you want to just keep vegan with your supplements. So yeah, that is cordyceps and that is my thoughts on it so far. I've still got a couple of capsules left to go, but I've been having this for nearly a month now. So yeah, I've been really, really enjoying it. So the next concern, we're gonna look at focus, memory, um, brain function, concentration, that kind of stuff. And the mushroom that you are gonna wanna try out is lion's mane. Now, lion's mane actually contains, oh, I'm gonna have to get the pronunciation right. I'm sorry, I'm so bad at pronunciation with these words, but lion's mane contains heresinones and erinacines. <laughs> But anyway, what you want to know is that these help to stimulate nerve growth factor, which is a protein which helps to promote the growth and the function of our nerve cells. I'm definitely thinking for myself, once I finish off my cordyceps, I think I might give lion's mane a go because I'm really interested to see the effects on brain function. Um, actually, I actually think it's super, super interesting. Look at like, the benefits from that mushroom. So yeah, I'm definitely going to give that one a go. Um, but some other benefits you might want to know about lion's mane is it's also antibacterial, so it's also good to help protect the gut lining from ulceration um, and then also linking back in with our kind of nervous system in a way um, is it's also good to help increase our mood and help with our stress response as well now speaking of stress let's actually talk about this as our next okay, i guess concern so if you're someone who is looking to address stress then yes lion's mane definitely can be one to try but the next mushroom to talk about um, is reishi now reishi is what we call an adaptogen which you may have heard that word before it basically means something which helps our bodies basically adapt better to stress and because of this reishi is actually seen to be very good for people who, um, who are trying to enhance their meditative practice. It also has a very calming, kind of relaxing um, ability on the body. And it's also known as the spirit mushroom because of this. Now, kind of going off of this even more, another benefit of reishi is it's also seen to be very good with helping with sleep. So if you are also struggling with your sleep, then reishi would definitely be one to try out. In fact, actually, just thinking about it, I definitely saw on the Vidacat website, they have a blend for sleep, which includes reishi in it. And I think it also has a couple of other nutrients um, Hopefully I'm, I'm not getting this wrong, but I think it has a bit of melatonin in, in there as well. Um, so that would definitely be a good one to try out um, if you are interested in Vidacap. The other benefit also just to mention with Reishi, it is also still, like with all the medicinal mushrooms, still very good for the immune system. In fact, Reishi has a um, good concentration of polysaccharides and um, this has been seen to really help support the function of white blood cells. So yeah, it also has a very good immune supporting role. Okay, so sticking with the immune kind of focus. The next um, topic I'm going to focus on here is longevity. So if you are someone who is really focused in this area and you're trying to just, you know, 
boost your vitality and keep yourself as healthy and as optimal as possible going through you know the late, latter years really of life then a medicinal mushroom you might like to check out is turkey tail so kind of coming off the back of reishi turkey tail actually has one of the highest concentration of these polysaccharides so yeah not only is that fantastic like i said with help to support our white um, blood cell function but it's also very anti-inflammatory um so yeah overall it's just a superstar with supporting the immune system and of course the the more you're going to support your immune system that's going to help of course with your longevity but the reason why i'm also putting turkey tail under longevity is because this is actually stemming right the way back to our traditional like medicine texas and um, from thousands of years ago and um, turkey tail is the medicinal mushroom they would use to help support um, longevity so that is kind of its historical um, properties really as well and then if that is not enough immune support for you turkey tail is also antiviral and it's also really rich in antioxidants um, and then also and this is a really interesting fact that I learned only when I was researching for this video is apparently turkey tail is also a good source of a prebiotic for the gut so you're also going to be supporting your gut microflora and you know that microbiome and as we know 70% of our immune system is in our gut so yeah I thought that was really interesting as well okay and then the next mushroom I didn't really know what category just to focus it under so I'm gonna say it's an all-rounder and um, this is a mushroom which if you're kind of like I don't really have a particular focus that you know I need something to correct or support you just kind of want to just have a little dibble and dabble with medicinal mushrooms um yeah just kind of in incorporate it into your day-to-day -day routine and um, then you might want to check out chaga now chaga really interestingly isn't a mushroom it's actually a fungus like growth on the side of a birch tree now like i keep saying with all the medicinal mushrooms um chaga also very very good for the immune system it is rich in those beta glucans and also beta lunin i can't say this word i've tried to feel this so many times Betulin, no, b acid, there we go, which overall is very good for the immune system and also helps to reduce oxidative stress. Now, in terms of immune support from Chaga, um, it is actually what we consider a, an immunomodulator. So a little bit like um, adaptogens, that kind of role, like phytoestrogens, that kind of thing. It, immunomodulator basically works both ways. So if your immune system is really, really overactive, it helps to bring it back down into balance. But also if your immune system is underactive and it needs stimulating, it can also bring it back up. So it's really, yeah, it helps to maintain that homeostasis, that balance in the immune system. Now the benefits don't just stop our immune function. Um, another really interesting fact about chaga is in the outer layer of chaga, it actually has high concentrations of melanin. So um, that has also been seen to be very beneficial with our skin. Now, speaking of skin, um, I'm actually also gonna add one more little category to this as well. For anyone who is is um you know got any concerns with like reactive skin conditions maybe eczema maybe anything atopic and um, anything with like yeah kind of an allergy stemming um from it then something you'd also want to know um is reishi so going back to that mushroom reishi has also um, been seen to be a very good alternative as an antihistamine so if you have got a high histamine uh, response in the body then yeah definitely worth giving reishi a go in fact um i'm actually going to give this a go this year when hay fever comes around i'm really interested to see if um taking some reishi will help with my hay fever symptoms so i'll keep you updated on that one but just going back to vidacap so as i said at the beginning they have very kindly given me a discount code for anyone who is interested to explore their supplements so the code is just ebony um, and you get 20% off site wide. So that is so, so generous. So thank you so much um, to them for you know giving that to me to give to you. Buy the cap stock, all the mushrooms that I spoke about today, they have them all in capsule form. If you're not a huge fan of taking capsules, they do have two of the mushrooms in powder form. So they've got lion's mane and reishi in powder form. So you can definitely check out those as well. Um, but yeah, I'll leave the website down below and you guys can just go have a little look and you know in your own time. But anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope this video was interesting interesting um and also you know beneficial as well please let me know your thoughts down below let me know your experience if you you know been taking medicinal mushrooms um, i would love to hear your thoughts and experiences on them um, and yeah i think everyone else would also benefit from that as well um, please do give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to click that subscribe button wherever it is um yes yeah, so you don't miss any future videos from me anyway guys thank you so so much and i will see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye